As we dawn on a new era of recreational brain chips, we should at least acknowledge that medical devices are some of the most vulnerable and often targeted in ransomware attacks against the medical establishment. We'll talk about it. Medical devices are some of the least protected equipment in a hospital. Part of that is because these devices need to operate wirelessly. Insulin pumps and pacemakers can connect with a handhold controller over a short distance. This also makes them vulnerable. When designing a medical device, you want something that's going to last. And while there are sometimes security updates, you don't really want them to be that common. You guys remember recently when a single update crashed IT worldwide grounded plans? If you're gonna fuck up an update, you probably want that to be your cell phone and not your pacemaker. These kinds of devices are a weak link, and while somebody could just directly hack your pacemaker if they wanted to do harm, they can also use it as a pivot point to get access into a hospital system. In 2017, it was discovered that a pacemaker had some very specific vulnerabilities, and 500,000 of them had to be recalled. However, that doesn't mean that they just took it out of a patient's chest. The ones that hadn't yet been put into a patient were recalled, but the ones who already got them kept them. The surgery itself is a bit of a risk, and good luck convincing your insurance to cover the replacement. We already know that many patients are walking around with outdated medical equipment, but it also leaves them vulnerable, and the hospital's vulnerable that treat them. It has also been studied and demonstrated again and again that it is possible to hack these devices and use them for nefarious means. Vice President Cheney was paranoid about his pacemaker. He worried about an attempt on his existence. He actually went as far as to disable the wireless capabilities on his pacemaker because he was so paranoid about it. And honestly, he should be paranoid. These devices are incredibly easy to get into. Part of that is because when researchers are designing medical equipment, they're not designing it around being hacked. They're trying to make the best product that can save patients' lives. Unfortunately, as medical technology progresses, and as all technology progresses, we see the rise in bad actors. It is a arms race in order to do enough good without exposing everyone to more harm. Unfortunately, patients are the ones that are being that Trojan horse. A hospital system can have as great a security system as they want, but if you are walking in with ransomware and an insulin pump or your pacemaker, what are they supposed to do? Turn away patients with outdated equipment? Now, new medical equipment is being designed to have those signals that it can pass back and forth be encrypted. That is great for the next generation of patients, up until the next generation of hackers is born and figures out how to work around them. Ultimately, this back and forth is always going to be present. The least we can do is be aware of it and try to minimize our exposure to it. Anything that connects to anything can be hacked. I'm also waiting for the first time someone's in an ambulance and someone's trying to figure out the code so they can get access to their medical device. Maybe have it tattooed on you?